everybody, Fiber Spider here in the kitchen once again. Yes, today we are going to be making my pasta and bean salad. Um, it doesn't really have a, a catchy name or anything, but I absolutely love this dish. It is so easy, it's versatile, it's quick, it's nutritious, it's delicious, and I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, uh, as far as the ingredients, you can, you know, change some things out, but my general rule of thumb for this particular recipe is a box of tricolor pasta, uh, several cans of beans, a nice assortment going on, red onion, celery, tomato, fresh mozzarella. Ooh, I love fresh mozzarella. Um, uh, Italian dressing. It's just, it's so easy. I absolutely love this. So I'm, I'm currently boiling my water at the moment. Um, and we are going, uh, we are going to be putting in, I was hoping that they were going to have tricolor farfalli, the bow ties, but they didn't. They only had the one color of bow tie. So we have tricolor rotini instead. So I'm going to use the whole box, which is about 12 ounces. So I'm going to use the whole shabam. And I also have a can of dark kidney beans, a can of garbanzo beans, aka chickpeas, black beans, and this I absolutely love the zesty Italian salad dressing. Absolutely love this. I'm probably gonna use the whole bottle, actually. Um, now, you could, of course, also throw in perhaps some uh, torn up fresh basil leaves. That would be lovely too, but you know what? With this, doing all the, the, the flavoring and so forth, like, you really don't need it. <laughs> um, and so I'm also going to be cutting up some some celery and some red onion. I love this dish. It is so easy. And of course, yeah, if you want to like add or subtract certain things, like if you want to add maybe some sliced up pepperoni or some olives. Personally, I'm not a fan of olives, but you could. So I am going to wait for my water to continue to boil. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to cook said pasta. Yes, all 12 ounces. And then I'm going to get busy. All right. Hello again. All right. So I figured since my pasta is in the process of cooking right now, let's get the beans ready. So I have a, like I said, a can of dark kidney beans. It's about 15 and a half ounces. And I always like to rinse and drain my beans prior. There we go, just the whole stubborn. Okay. Okay, yeah, my, oh, my pasta is really doing a roaring boil. Um, all right, now my garbanzo beans is about 15 and a half ounces as well. Now, of course, you could add different beans, more, less, what have you, whatever you prefer. Uh-oh, I need a can opener. Oh, all right. No problem, we got this. You know, if you prefer cannelli beans. I don't know about navy, though. But for the sake of variety and color and taste and so forth, I like at least three different kinds. All right. And then give it a good rinse.
right, that's good. Let them drain for a bit. And then going to start in with prepping my veggies. Alrighty, next up, I figure let's do the celery. Now you don't need a lot actually, just you know a stalk or two. And when I went to the store, I was like, oh, well, a lot of them look very, very spindly, quite frankly. Um, so I might end up using more than two. Not to worry, I've got plenty. Alrighty. Just give them a quick wash. We'll be good to go. There we go. Also, a little trick for uh, cutting boards that have a tendency of sliding around, rubber grit mat works wonders. This is not going anywhere. That was always one of my biggest pet peeves about dealing with cutting boards. They have this tendency of wanting to escape on you. Am I right or am I right? So yeah, like I said, you could always use more or less, totally up to you, but yeah, just give these a nice dicing. I realize that I'm not going to win any competitions here. I know. <laughs> Julia Child, I am not. I am totally aware. But that is quite all right as far as I'm concerned. All right. So we have our celery. And we've got our beans. Next up, red onion time. You know what, let me give my pasta a quick stir. Oh, it might be just about done, actually. Hang on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alrighty, turns out that my pasta is in fact done, so let me attend to that real, real quick. Gloves are a good thing. There we go. Turn this off. Fabulous. And give it a quick rinse. So I'm gonna let that sit for just a moment. In the meantime, we have our red onion. Now I would say, again, it's a matter of personal preference and taste as far as how much you actually add. Offhand, I would say eh, about half of a red onion should be sufficient, roughly speaking. I always like to peel off that outer layer. You know, not just the skin, but the actual outer layer 
of the onion. Some could construe it as wasteful, but quite often there's a lot of dings and whatnots going on, so I just get rid of the entire thing. So, there we go. Get a baggie. And then same thing with this, just cut it up nice and finely. Not a big deal. But I like spending time with you guys, so I figure, yeah, let, let's have some fun in the kitchen today. And be careful of my little fingers. I need those for later working on various stitching projects at the moment. And uh, yeah, fingers are kind of essential. There we go. And you don't have to worry about breaking up your red onion because when you're mixing this all together, it will break itself up more. So that's not something to concern yourself with. Okay, now let me attend to this part right here. There, perfect. Well, as perfect as I'm going to do it. <laughs> Alrighty. So that is that. Throw this out. So this is what we have thus far. Now the pasta the pasta, you want it to cool down a bit. Now, I've made this mistake before where I added everything in all together, lickety splickety, and the pasta ended up melting the cheese. You want to avoid that. So, I'm going to let the pasta cool down a bit more, and then we will continue to add, add, add more and more things. Mm hmm. Yep. Be right back. Alrighty, we are in the home stretch. Now I rinsed off my pasta under some cold water. Now the fun part, the cheese. Arr, I love cheese. Arr. Absolutely love, love, love cheese. In case if you couldn't tell by now. <laughs> so this is actually a nice big block or blob, whatever you want to call it, a loaf of fresh mozzarella. And this is about 16 ounces. Now, of course, you do not have to use this much naturally. However, I am a freak for cheese, okay? Especially certain ones, you know, Swiss, cheddar, pepper jack. Now there are, whoa, this is leaking. Okay, well, that, that's a good sign because this does have to be packed in water. Um, regular mozzarella, yeah, it's good, but fresh, oh, there's nothing like it. It's just, it's awesome. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put that in the sink there, and then blot this. Just a little bit with some paper towels. And yeah, I figure I'm just gonna use the whole thing because it is just so, so good. It is, uh, it is so good. All right, let's just get this into more manageable pieces to start with and just sort of cube this. I wouldn't say dice it. You don't want the pieces to be too small, but cube it up. and toss it in. 
Now I didn't throw in my pasta as of yet, but that I shall do soon enough. So yeah, I'm just taking a nice thick slice and then cutting it into nine. Seems reasonable enough. And then we'll add the pasta and the dressing. Now, the one thing I have found that you do not want to add is the tomato. Now, the reason why I say that is because the tomatoes will get funky, okay? Uh, if you add them in too early. So if you are making this for, say, you know, a, a big potluck dinner or a barbecue or something like that, I would say add the tomatoes in like just before you're about to serve. You know, otherwise they get weird. Um, now I'm going to be using, well, they're, they're called salad tomatoes. I would say they are grape tomatoes. So those are the ones that I'm using. And I am going to actually cut each of them in half, but I am only going to add enough for my particular serving. All right, that is, that's the lot. That's everything right there. All right. And our pasta should be nice and cool at this point. Yep, perfect. Okay, very cool. All right, let me scoot this aside. <sighs> Thank God for big bowls. <laughs> Actually, one of my viewers was so kind enough to send me not only this one, but two others to go along with it. Uh, this is actually a 14.71 something. It's a, a 50, what even is it? I can't even read what it is. Oh, 4.71 something. At any rate, it's a something. It's a big bowl. <laughs> and I appreciate it. So we have all of our lovely tricolor pasta right there. Awesome. And we have our, our dressing. And yeah, like I said, I'm probably just gonna throw in the whole thing. Also, this is the kind of salad that is best served the next day, okay? Because it gives the dressing a chance to marinate everything. Okay, I'm going to give it a good shaky shaky. And then give the whole thing a nice mixy mixy. All right. I mean, granted, yes, you could serve it right away or the next day, what have you. Just have fun with it. There you go. Now, if you do make this, say, the night before, before serving, give it all a good toss because a lot of it will settle down at the bottom. All right, sperm, I need me a sperm. I got me a sperm. and then just toss everything together. Coating everything with the dressing, get all of these fabulous colors all mixed in together. It looks awesome already, I love it. And of course, like I said, it is very, very customizable. You can add, you can subtract, you can change, you can tweak. 
but it gives, I think, a nice basis for a lot of different flavors and to use your creative energies and come up with something, you know, completely different even. Why not? You know, there are a lot of recipes where you really need to follow it to a T. This is not one of them. <laughs> no, this is an opportunity for you to get creative, think outside of the box, and have fun. All right, guess what? We are done, more or less. I still need to cut up some tomatoes, though. So, yeah, I'm going to do that, too. All right, we are almost done. So I've got my cute little tomatoes. They are so adorable. And you could leave them as is. Personally, I like to cut them in half. one of my idiosyncrasies. There we go. A little slicey slicey. Another thing that you could add to your finished bowl, a nice sprinkling of grated Parmesan. That would be lovely as well. but we have tons of the mozzarella, so I don't quite think that it is necessary. Whoop. Wanted to get away from me. Dinner is served. Yes, very excited. I haven't made this in way too long and I can't wait to dig in. So let's go over to the table and have a taste. Alrighty, my dears. So like I said, dinner is ready. Very, very excited to dig into this. It has been, like I said, it's been a long time since I've had this. And like I said, also it makes a lot, okay? So be prepared for leftovers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 You have a bunch of different flavors, textures, crunchy, soft, you know, all sorts of different things, you know, sort of melding together, brought together by the dressing. Absolutely love it. It is delish. And unlike a lot of my other recipes on this channel, it's actually good for you. <laughs> yeah, stranger things have happened. Um, I mean, of course, also you could use a, a fat-free cheese or a fat-free dressing. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Um, as far as the dressing, you could just use a very simple uh, oil and vinegar kind of thing going on. You know, a nice little light vinaigrette. That's cool too, you know. To each their own, have fun experimenting. Tweak it. Have fun with it. Think outside of the box. Now, what I'm curious about is have you made something like this before? And if you have, what was the same? What was different? You know, what do you think? You know, let me know. And I have to have another bite. You know, I just, I have to. <laughs> mm. I love this. Mm. Mm. Yes, I'm going to eat at least one bowl right now. Um, not on camera. Don't worry about that. Anyway, listen, I hope that you enjoyed today's video, and I hope that it inspires you to try this or a variation of this in the near future. It's a lot of fun and it is so dang tasty. Listen, you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay cooking, stay caffeinated, and please, above all, stay safe. Take care of yourselves 
by making them some excellent food and yourselves. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.